Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm giving you some of my top 5 easy horns basketball set plays that you can run with your basketball team. But first, if you want to have a fantastic defense, you have to go check out the unbeatable basketball defense. The link is in the description below. 100% fantastic book. And one of the coaches that purchased the book a few months ago sent me a message saying that his team was winning in the first half, but 52-3, to which was just insane, amazing. So definitely go check that out. And if you like basketball plays, drills, and skills, hit that like button and subscribe let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays okay so first in this simple easy basketball play what we're going to be having is player four setting a screen for player one and at the same time we're going to be having player two move up and set a staggered screen for player one so they're both going to be setting their screens player one is going to be coming off of both of their screens and what we're going to be having is player two he is going to be popping and player four is going to be rolling towards the rim we're going to be having player five pop out of the to the three-point line as well so once this has completed one of these two options are going to be open for a shot. Player one may also be open for a shot as well. Now, if none of these players are open, we now want to have player four pop out towards the three-point line. And now we are in a five-out offense. And the nice thing about that is the five-out offense is a motion offense where you can do something simple again, where which you can do a pass, screen four, have player one roll towards the basket. He may be open for a layup. And then we have player five filling, player three filling, and player one popping out. But that's just one idea. However, the nice thing with this play is it does lead to a five out, which is fantastic to finish with after a set play. Okay, so now in this second play that I'm going to show you, again, a very simple play to run. We're going to be having player 4 and 5 set a screen down for players 2 and 3, and they are both going to be popping up. Player 1 is going to decide who to pass to. If player 2 has a pass, if he gets passed to, then he can take that shot. If player 3 gets passed to, then he may have a shot, and he better be looking to take that shot. Now, if neither of those players are open to get that shot off, I now want to have the side that has the ball, that post player to screen away. Now, in this case, it would be for player four. Player four is going to go and use that screen. If he's open, hit him up for a layup. If not, player four is going to then continue through and player five is going to pop out, and again, we are in that five out. Now, you don't have to end in a five out. You could end in a four out, one in. It's totally up to you, but I just personally really love to finish with a five out so we can run some simple five out plays to try and get a basket. At least up here in Canada, we have a 24 second shot clock. So generally speaking, these plays that I'm showing you are going to eat up probably 14 seconds of that after getting the ball down the court. So you probably will only have eight to 10 seconds left. So that's why I like to finish with a five out. Now, in this third basketball play that I'm going to show you, again, a very simple play. What we're going to have is player five setting a screen across for player four. Player four is going to be popping across. If he's open for a shot, definitely give him the shot. If they switch or player four fights through, player five is going to be rolling towards the basket and again may be open for a high to low pass. If that's not the case, player five is going to pop out. He has the decision though. He can either screen out for player three or screen out for player two. If he screens out for player three, then we need player one to go and screen for player two. If player five screens for player two, however, then instead I want player one to go and set a screen for player three. So for example, player five sets a screen for player three, Player 1 will go and set a screen for player 2. Player 3 is going to cut across the key and may be open for a layup. And now player 2 may be open for a 3-point shot. This one doesn't necessarily finish out in a 5-out, but if player 3 was to continue out, player 1 pops, 4 pops, and 5 pops, we are now in a 5-out. 
Now, in this fourth basketball play that I'm going to show you, we're going to have player five and four both set at what I call a sandwich screen on player one. Player one is going to make the decision and go out to that side. He has the option for a shot or he could drive towards the rim. If he drives towards the rim, player two may collapse and he can kick the ball out for a three-point shot. However, if he doesn't drive, player one got through the screen, player five can roll towards the basket, and now he may be open for a shot. Player two may collapse and player two may be open for a shot again, or you could pass to player five collapse kick out one or the other there's so many different options that can happen you have to read the defense sometimes and just see what they give you now what i want to see happen if let's say player five is not open what i want to see happen is player five to go and cut across and set a back screen for player three who's going to cut across the key now if he's open he's going to hit that layup if he is not open what i want to see happen is Player 3 will go and set a back screen on player 2. Player 2 is going to cut across and he's going to be the next option. By this time, if you still have shot clock left, player 2 will pop out. Player 3 will pop out if neither of those players were open. And now you're back in that 5 out. Or you could have kept player 2 in there for a 4 out 2 in. It's totally up, or sorry, 4 out 1 in. It's totally up to you. Now this last fifth and final Horns basketball play, this is a little bit more of a rare one. This is not one that you've probably seen all that often. We're going to be having this side screen across for players four and player two. They're going to go and run across. Player four is going to pop out first, and he could be open for a three-point shot. While player two is cutting across the key, let's say player four wasn't open to take that shot, player four could easily kick the ball down to player two for a layup. If not, player two could pop and hit that three-point shot. If he is not open, I want player five to clear out, player three to clear out, and now we are in a five out where we can do a dribble handoff five out play or whatever it may be. I hope that these five easy horns basketball plays help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.